In this video today, I am going to go over an issue that I had earlier this week and that I know at least mm, a dozen of you will also have this issue. And the issue is I haven't used some of my ledgers in mm, a long time. And since I haven't used my ledgers, uh, this one in particular, there is a battery problem. It will not charge. Uh, one way that I've gotten around this issue before is just to plug it in, leave it for a couple days, and it's good to go. Well, that didn't work for this one. This one, I had to go to ledger.com slash E7 and follow those instructions. And so this is just a reminder because things are running, because things are exciting again, I don't want anybody to get to the point where they're going to need to liquidate their crypto and their ledger won't work. They don't have a backup. It doesn't start. The battery doesn't work like this. So let's check our hardware, make sure we have enough cables too, just in case the cable goes bad, uh, before we really need them. So today, if you see this problem, uh, I would plug in your Ledger, Ledger X. Um, the Stacks is not out yet. Who knows? Maybe that's another year away. But check your Ledgers now so that you don't go into panic mode uh, when everybody else is trying to sell. So if you see this message after you plug it in, what you can do is you can go to the page. It takes you to this long URL. But I followed these instructions and it took me, I think it was, I had to repeat it three times and the, uh, the error message went away. So I'm not going to walk you through the process because it's pretty self-explanatory and you aren't going to see my fingers touching the buttons. Uh, plus I fixed the problem and it, it's no longer there, but this is, you know, just a reminder. So one of the other things that you can do, I know some people have said, Hey, you know, I don't want to, uh, leave it plugged into my, uh, my computer all the time. Well, you don't have to. You can use a, a charger. I can't say you can use any charger. It's the ones that really kind of regulate how much power goes into that USB-C. So if it's an older charger, I'd stay away from it. So um, my suggestion is you can go to the BitcoinAcademy.io and under member pages, go to the technology corner, go to the Amazon tech only store. And this is where you can get some extra cables in case one goes bad. Um, I've had one or two go bad over the years. But right down here under replacement chargers, I have both of these. I have this one, this anchor, and this larger anchor. And this larger anchor I used to plug in the one that had a, a trouble, uh, a battery problem. And I let it sit there for three days and it didn't fix the problem. So I went through and I did the procedure of the step by step to, uh, to get it through. Um, now, one of the things that you may look at is um, on the first, uh, you know, part of the directions, it says, make sure that your ledger device has the latest firmware installed and do not unplug the device while the following steps below or following the steps below. So, I, this one did not have the latest and during this process, it allows you to get out of that battery, um, warning. And I went in and I updated the, uh, the, um, the firmware on it. Um, that didn't address the issue. It was powering it up, turning it off, powering it up and, and the steps down here. So I really just wanted to put this video out there and say, check your ledgers, check your hardware wallets, make sure everything is up to date. Um, make sure you have plenty of cables and chargers and everything that you need so that you're not worrying about the hardware, the, the things that hold your coins. You're really trying to focus on where do I want to get out? Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great weekend.